The Apprentice returns tonight, but where are the show's former stars now? Success, Lord Sugar after winning a BAFTA at the British Academy Television Awards in 2012. The 18 contestants will battle it out in a series of money-making tasks. And the overall winner will have £250,000 invested in their business. For more than a decade Lord Sugar has been hiring and firing and in the process making some famous reality faces we struggle to forget. Jennifer Dunkerley takes a look back at where the previous stars of The Apprentice are now and Louise Ozishman. Glamorous, Louise Ozishman at the 21st National Television Awards in 2016. Outspoken cupcake queen Louisa was runner-up on the ninth series of the show in 2013. But, despite coming second, she's become one of the show's most memorable stars. She joined Celebrity Big Brother in 2014 and finished fourth. She also launched several baking businesses, one named after her daughter Dixie. She divorced first husband Oliver Zishman in 2014 before marrying Irish businessman Andrew Collins a year later. She has since taken time out of the limelight and is pregnant with her third child. Michelle Dewberry. Michelle Dewberry won the second series in 2006, and went on to become a Sky News presenter. How last Michelle was crowned winner of the second series of the show back in 2006. After landing a job working on computer equipment disposal, she quit just one month before the end of her year-long contract. She went on to become a Sky News TV pundit, ran a shopping website and wrote her autobiography. She currently appears on Sky News Sunrise and works on a website aimed at helping people get back into work. Ricky Martin Former pro wrestler Ricky changed his name from Richard to be like his pop star idol. Former pro wrestler Ricky who changed his name from Richard to be like the pop star had viewers in stitches after claiming, I am truly the reflection of perfection back in 2012. But he won Lord Sugar's support with his idea for a specialist recruitment company for science and technology jobs. He now runs Hyper Recruitment Solutions and speaks at schools and conferences about careers in science. Last December it was claimed Martin's business was on track to make £10 million revenue within a year. Kate Walsh Kate reached the final of season 5 and went on to become a Channel 5 presenter. Kate reached the final of series 5 in 2009 but finished as runner-up after Lord Sugar decided she was too perfect and robotic. She went on instead to become a TV presenter, hosting Channel 5's Live From Studio 5 and OK! TV as well as being a panelist on Big Brother's Bit on the Side. She is a member of the Labour Party and lives with her boyfriend, fellow Apprentice star Philip Taylor, in London. Tom Belair.
Inventor Tom Pellier won the first series that offered cash investment rather than a job. Inventor Tom was the first to scoop the £250,000 prize when the show's format changed to offer an investment rather than a job. Tom went into business with Lord Sugar in 2011, developing a new S-shaped nail range called Style File, which was sold in supermarkets. Tom has since worked on inventions such as a bowel cancer screening device and a children's story app, which reached number two in the App Store book charts. Alana Spencer Alana, winner of The Apprentice 2016, is seen leaving the BBC radio studios. Last year's winner has enjoyed the sweet taste of success. Alana set up her cake company, Ridiculously Rich, making handcrafted cakes sold through subscriptions. Lord Sugar himself has been using his social media pulling power to help push the brand. Tim Campbell Tim Campbell was awarded an MBE by the Prince of Wales in 2012. The first winner back in 2005 was Middlesex University graduate Tim, who worked for Lord Sugar for two years before leaving Amstrad to found a charity. The Bright Ideas Trust aims to help entrepreneurs aged 16 to 30 fulfill their dreams of starting a business. Campbell received an MBE in 2012 and runs a company offering tips on how to market products online. Stella English After a legal battle with Lord Sugar, Stella joined crowdfunding TV station Crowdbox. Stella crushed the competition in 2010, only to have everything come falling down in dramatic style. The investment banker claimed the coveted Amstrad role was a glorified paw job and filed a claim for constructive dismissal in an employment tribunal. She lost. And Lord Sugar sued her to recover his costs but his case was not successful either. English later joined crowdfunding TV channel Crowdbox. Lee McQueen Lee McQueen, who won the series in 2008, arrives at the TV Choice Awards at the Dorchester. Milkman's son Lee was famously caught fibbing on his CV about the time he'd spent at university but he still won the 2008 show. He had an inauspicious start at Amstrad, calling in sick on his first day, but stayed at the company until 2010, when he left to start his own sales training company, Raw Talent Academy. Leah Dotton Leah Totten received £250,000 investment from Lord Sugar, and launched her own cosmetic clinic. Glamorous Irish-born Dr. Leah beat Louise Otto to win in 2013 and used the investment to open a cosmetic clinic in London. She offers treatments such as Botox, facials and wrinkle reduction but was criticized for encouraging more women to have cosmetic work done. However, the clinic has been a big success with even Lord Sugar visiting several times although never for a treatment. <laughs>